Hello and welcome back for installment two of Des talking to you about ropes, knots, bends and hitches. Um, the first thing we're going to cover now is the most basic of knots, um, sort of two little stopper knots, um, called stopper knots because they can be used to stop a rope running through um, something or to stop it unraveling. Um, I've got a piece of braided rope here. So to make a stopper knot, we take a rope, we put a bend or a bite on the rope, as we have done here. You can see we've got a little bend of the twist. We carry on round, come through the hole and tighten it. Simple as that, nice and easy. Now you're saying to me, Des, I've been doing this knot since I was old enough to tie my shoelaces. Why are you telling me how to do something as simple and easy as a stopper knot? Well, the first thing is, it is the basis of so many other knots. Um, it's very simple um, uh, it, it, and it can be used for a lot of other, uh, it can be used as part of a lot of other knots, such as the reef knot and the fisherman's knot, um, and the stopper knot to finish off a lot of the other knots that we're going to be talking about and doing um, as we go through these little videos. Um, uses of it. The first use, the key use, is you can see here at the end of this piece of piece of rope that I have, the braid has started to untangle. If you leave that out like that in time, it'll just untangle more and more and more, and more of the cordage will become unus un unusable. So putting a stopper knot in the end, like that, will actually help prevent that cordage unravelling uh, as such. Next, so we're going to stop that cordage unravelling. Next, it's a stopper. So if we have this rope running through something, now I've got just a, a basic washer here, but if this was, say, um, a pulley system um, or a, a, a hole going through to your anchor, um, and we have the rope running through it, Sounds stupid, but as the knot hits that, it stops running through. If you're on a yacht or another sailing boat, you'll normally see a stopper knot at the end of the sheets, um, because as those sheets run through the, the, the pulley systems um, and the uh, the automatic cleats, you don't want that sheet to run away from you, that rope to run away from you. So by having that knot there, it means if it lets fly, you let it fly and it's flying too much, it gets stopped and it doesn't then start whipping about in the wind and causing injury or damage. Some disadvantages of this knot. Well, the first one is, I'm sure all of us at some time in our, our past have seen a knot that looks just like this. And with a lot of time, they jam and become really, really tight, really hard to undo. And you have to get your teeth in there and fingernails and actually, you know, get a, get a, get a screwdriver into it to undo it. This one's a relatively fresh knot, not too much pressure on it, so I can undo it. But the reason it jams so much and it's hard to undo is there's very little surface to actually get pressure on to, to, to open it up. Um, and that's the main disadvantage, uh, that, that jamming. It's a fairly permanent knot once you put a lot of pressure on it for any length of time. Um, it's also a bit awkward to tie into some of our traditional um, <coughs> twisted rope. So as I make that knot, as you can see here, as I make it and I come round, you can just see and watch how the twists, oh, sorry, how the twists of the fibre can work against the knot if you twist it the wrong way. And with this quite slippy, unless it's got a lot of pressure on it, you know, there's not a lot of friction in the rope, it can it can work itself uh, work itself undone. So that is the basic overhand knot used to stop. There is a slightly different and um, arguably better stopper knot called a figure of eight. A uh, figure of eight starts again with a loop but this time you keep the loop going through and under and you can back up through the hole. And you can then see where this gets its name from because it looks like a figure of eight. And we can tighten that up nice and tight. And again, that will act as a stopper knot. So as it runs through something, it will catch it. It could be used to stop the end spraying, although it isn't normally, because this is a slightly easier to undo knot. And that's because with these two, two sort of loops, bites on the rope itself being further apart, we can actually get some, some leverage on them and that leverage makes it much easier for us to undo this knot and take it apart. So we put our loop on, we come back around the other side and then we come through the original loop or bite that we had in the rope and then we can pull that tight. And that's a figure of eight stopper knot. Again, if we do that with a twisted piece of rope, <coughs> We put our loop on, we come round, we come back up through, 
And then this one, depending which way the rope kinks, which way the twist is, the rope can depend which how easy or hard it is to do. If I try and do that the other way against the kink of the rope, you can see I'm fighting it now. I actually have to fight to get through, and there's a tension on the rope, and it doesn't quite work as well. You can see sort of the twists don't always line up as well. Again, on a, a plastic twisted rope like this, a little bit of pressure on that, and it can start to, 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 to slip um, because the rope's relying on the friction, and it'd be quite tight to get enough friction on to hold it in place. Um, something I'm going to talk about a lot as we go through these, these, these knots and bends and hitches is when people ask, did I do it right? Have I made the knot right? And the answer to that generally lies in, if it looks good, it probably is good. That looks like a figure of eight. That looks good. It looks like it's, you know, a, a, a good knot. Um, it looks like it isn't twisted um, or going the wrong way. Um, so it probably is good. You know, that's clearly not a figure of eight. That's it, the best to see. So that was an overhand knot and a figure of eight knot. And both simple stopper knots. Uh, one more permanent than the other, the overhand knot being more permanent than the other, the figure of eight uh, being a better one if you need to, uh, as a temporary stopper knot that you need, uh, you need to undo.